Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Are you stuck not knowing what to give your mum this Mothering Sunday or Sunday? Mothers are the most important people in the world. I just hope that my son remembers that. But if you're stuck and you don't know what to give mum, I have a possible solution. Pink peonies and red roses. The pink peonies in the language of flowers is for love and so is the rose. So I'm gonna say that this is an arrangement that is filled with double love. Really easy to put together. Now you could just use a clear glass cylinder vase like I've got here, or you could put a little bit of effort in and you might be able to find a little bit of fabric. I love this fabric, I, I, don't, I just love it, isn't that beautiful? It was going to be a frock but then I cut into it because I felt that with these flowers and with the fabric onto the exterior of the vase, it could be a really lovely interplay of design, little bit of colour that reflects through to the arrangement. This is really easy to do. All you do is cut your fabric to, and use cotton too, because cotton's much firmer to work with. Just cut your fabric to the size of your vase, layer it on your craft glue, and then just wrap the fabric around it. And then use your hands to just go down the sides of your vase to make sure there's no wrinkles and there's no bubbles into it. And to seal it, if you wanted it to be more of a ceramic effect, just hit it with a couple of coats of spray varnish and then you'll be able to wipe it and keep it clean. Right, to begin. The first thing I'm going to put in is going to are the roses. I love these roses. And my, when I was creating these roses, I actually designed these on my neighbor's rose that she has. And it is the most fragrant of all of the roses. So just four around the outside. I'm keeping this really easy for you. Put in the lovely, fluffy, I love these peonies, lovely pink fluffy peonies. And sometimes people will say to you, you can't put pink and red together. Well, I want you to know that yes, you can because pink and red are of the same family. So you could leave it just like that. You could put a few more in if you wanted to. Now, around the outside here, you'll see the lovely black and white of the, the lovely little flowers. Now, if you wanted to bring a foliage in with that, you could bring in some of the eucalyptus, but I feel that that makes the whole arrangement just lose its vibrancy. So when you're putting your greens together, just think about the muted tones of grey or the lovely lush colours of green. Now I'm going to put these in so that they're just a little bit higher because I wanted to just show you how easy it is to bring a little round arrangement up a little bit higher. And now I will put in just a few more of the red roses and take those up just a little bit higher. Now, if you wanted to take it so that it dripped down the side, that is very easy. And all you need to do is put your last rose in and then just bend it. Oh, I'll do the bending on this side so that it looks like You've just gone to the garden and picked. I hope you've enjoyed this because I've enjoyed sharing it with you. See you again another day.